Hello, this is Eric Bobru, and this ArchiCAD video tutorial, the third one in my Design Views series, will go over tricks you can use to improve the lighting in the 3D window while you're working, and also to study different surface schemes, trying out different surface appearances for your design very quickly. Here you see the very, very simple project that I have been using as a quick basis from the standard USA template. Now what I do here will work equally well in the international template or other project setups. You notice that the colors look rather muted and dull. We can change that by going to the sunlight, right clicking on a view here, and changing the sunlight to a higher level and in fact making it contribute to the ambient more by changing the number here or rolling the slider. Now you can see this is much brighter and you may prefer that. I'm going to just give you a chance to easily compare it um, by saving a view here and now we can go back and forth double click and you can see what it is and like that. Now let me rotate around to the other side and you see that even though we've got light on this side it's a little dim here so I'll show you how you can change the sunlight direction and save that as a view. So go to 3D projection settings here and move the sun around perhaps over the shoulder of where the light where you're looking from. And here you can also go into sunlight and adjust this but it remembered the hundred that I had there. So let's just say okay. Now it's much brighter. We'll save this view as um, rear axo with sun. Okay. Now if I go back around you can see how things are dull. So depending upon what view you're in, you may want to just simply switch the sun this way and then take whatever view you like. Now let's go to an interior view. Let's say that I switch under the view menu, 3D view options to perspective. Now where am I located here? Now if I move around, maybe zoom out, you can see that there's no windows on this side. That's the back part of this little building. Uh, let me go to the floor plan and we'll set up a particular camera position. So I'll go to the camera tool, click in a corner, click here. This is where I'm standing or floating in the air and this is where I'm looking. And you can see these two numbers. Generally it's good to have them horizontal with the same value. Five feet would be a reasonable eye level. Now with that selected, if I right click on this and say show all in 3D, now we've got that view. So uh, depending upon how you go to 3D, it will use that camera position. Now it looks a little odd because of the pink ceiling. That's because this roof was made with insulated uh, framing members and we're not actually seeing the framing and we don't have a ceiling. So we're going to put in a ceiling. Now down here is actually no floor. It's just the uh, ground plane that's put in with this particular style of view. So let me go back and put in a floor and a ceiling to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'll go to the slab tool. We'll pick concrete slab just to start out with and magic wand here and you can see that now we have a slab in this area. Now I'll put in a ceiling. I'll switch to the ceilings layer so that I can turn it on or off separately from the floor and I can also go and switch to a different type of slab. In this case a ceiling that's acoustic ceiling and change the height up here. So let's say take this up a little bit and then magic wand on the inside face here and now you can see there there is a separate slab here that is the ceiling. So let's take a look back in 3D and you can see now we've got floor and a ceiling. Now it's rather dim here because we don't have any interior lights and in fact you can't really cast interior lights in the standard 3D window because in the 3D window we just have the sunlight and ambient light. But you can make it look brighter by changing the way that the surfaces reflect the light. So for example, what are these two walls here and the rest of the exterior walls? Well, they're made out of 2x6 framing, wood framing, with stucco on the outside, or actually with, um, I guess this is uh, siding here. Um, that one was siding, but it's got gypsum on the inside. So gyp gypsum board on both of these here. Now what does gypsum board look like? If I go to the options building materials and we go to gypsum board we can see that its surface is using a surface with the same name. So let's check what the surface gypsum board looks like. 
So the surface for gypsum board here has a little texture. It's got a stucco texture. It's generally pretty white, but you can see how dark it gets around here when it's not facing the light. Now we can boost this up here, saying that it reflects more light. Ambient and diffuse have different effects depending upon what angle the light is coming from, but this will generally make it brighter. And so if I say OK here, you can see how much brighter everything that was made out of gypsum appears. So that's a good quick change that you can do. Another thing you can do is you can actually change these and override the surface with a different surface appearance than the building material. So I can, for example, take the inside surface here and change it to generic interior. Now that's actually pretty dark and ugly, but one of the nice things about it is that generic interior we can just change and everything that's designated as an interior surface with no other designation will update. Now I'm going to leave this, or actually I'll just make this one as well, uh, the same, take it and this, this is an interior wall that I'm going to make all three surfaces here, lock them in together, and change them so that they're generic interior. Okay, so now everything is going to be sort of a little dark, but you can see how it's brighter because the sun is coming from that side. Now what about the ceiling here? Let's take a look at how we can use some paint colors or just generic colors to do this. So I'll make the underside of this a white color, white like this. And you can see it's brighter, but it's still not very bright. Let's take it to another color here, which could be white ceiling. And when we do that, oh, much brighter there. Now what's actually happening is that the ceiling is not just reflecting light, it's actually got its own light source behind it. Essentially, you can say it's emitting light. It's brighter than the surroundings. Now how is that done? If we go and uh, have it selected and then go to the options surfaces here we'll see that white ceiling actually doesn't reflect more light here but it has an emission color so emission in this case if you can look at this and think about it maybe this would be like a glowing lamp it's glowing from inside if I double click on the emission color or click you can see how it's between white and black and it's actually fairly close to the white side uh, whereas color white, which is what we tried earlier, actually has a much more muted emission color. And if we go to something like the generic interior, it's even lower, it's darker. Now let's just make the generic interior brighter and see what that does. You see how that brightens it up. Let's take the generic interior and, and actually try a different color on it. So go in here. Um, actually, did it, not sure, did it have a, uh, we want the generic interior, that's the one I wanted to change, and we'll go in here, and let's just uh, give it a little bit of a yellow tint, maybe not quite so bright, but um, something like that. And you can see here now the color is not showing up very much, probably because the emission is um, changed. Let's go here and make the emission a little bit like a yellow color. And now you can see it's sort of got this glowing yellow look. And you can see how that's changed it. Now anything that we had designated as generic interior would update there. So I'm working very quickly and so we could say crudely, but I want to show you how things are linked together and how you can use either a generic name or a color or paint, depending upon what version of ARCHICAD the surfaces that have general colors may be called color or they may be called paint. Now let's take a look in the master template sample project and see some similar things. So if I go to an AXO view here uh, from this side and we take a look at this wall, we'll see that this wall has some overrides. Now the overrides here are AMT, that's Archicad master template, exterior default on one side and interior default on the other. Now these surfaces here are similar to generic exterior and generic interior in the standard template that uh, the, is supplied in the USA and probably um, has a similar uh, setting in the international version. 
uh, but I actually have set up under surfaces several ones. AMT exterior default and secondary and interior default and secondary. So you can have two and by extension just creating additional similar ones you can have more than two specific colors that you can play around with. So let's see how that works. If I go to the exterior default color here and let's say that we make it um, this blue and say OK you can see how it's changed the color and say OK and now everything that's designated as exterior default will change. None of the interior ones changed. Um, now it is, uh, I was using it as a surface override on walls that were made out of you know composites. If you have a wall like this that is a complex profile then it becomes a little bit more tricky. If I go edit the selected complex profile I need to actually make sure that individual surfaces are designated because we don't want for example this lower stone to switch from being the ledger stone we want it to use the natural surface here and the same thing with this one that's limestone that has no overrides but if I zoom in you can see the stucco that I've selected right here has an override but it's not uniform what I've done is I've went to the out, gone to the outside and used the option here to customize the edge and I've made it the exterior default which used to be white but now it's showing as blue and I've also made it a heavier cut line so this is a way that we get a more uh, detailed cup, cut line and of course on the inside here this is again overridden instead of it just being um, gypsum board it's going and making that outside or actually the interior face to be the interior default like that um, so that's how I'm able to do it and you can do it as well for anything that is a composite. So let's go ahead then and do an interior view and see how that works. So you'll see with this interior view that things are very bright. Um, probably brighter than most of the ARCHICAD models that uh, people show me. Um, that's because I've got the surfaces and I'll just take these three here these surfaces are set with that interior um, that interior uh, surface so we've got the interior default and in this case instead of having emission I've just got bright reflections of the ambient and diffuse light if we go in here you can see that the emission is off there now I'm just going to take this surface color and uh, let's say let's give it a, a nice yellow color maybe a little less intense there and you can see what that does and say OK um, now what I did was I just changed the entire uh, all the walls here because I changed the interior default but what I'd like to do is actually change these walls then possibly to an accent color so the ones that I had selected um, I'm gonna just go and change their interior one to the secondary so now when I do the secondary um, it will update with probably what's white in this case um, I could go and make that some other color as well. So we can maintain then several walls, as whichever ones we want, as sort of a different setting than the main ones. The main ones, let's see, we've got this. Yeah, you can see how that updated, so now it's white. So that secondary color, if I were to go in here, let's say Options Surfaces, and let's say take the interior secondary and uh, give it you know just a little bit of a blue tint here and maybe we need uh, just a little bit more intensity so we can see it around here and let's see we'll take the reflection down a bit and say OK and now you'll see that all of those change so basically we can change each one of them independently now let's take a look back outside at something that gets a little bit more challenging and that is the siding here so the siding here is actually a surface texture so it's not just a color and I'm selecting the three walls that have that particular override so in this case they're they've got an override applied of shingle roofing cedar now I could change this to something like a, a siding like a, a red siding here um, which you know maybe would be good uh, but what I'd like to do is actually make it more of a generic the secondary color for 
the um, exterior and then experiment with that. So what I'll do is I'll actually switch this instead of being a, a specific one, I'll switch it to the exterior secondary. Now the exterior secondary initially is starting out as white in this template, but I'm going to go and overwrite it with different options here. So the way we do that is we can go to the, let's go to surfaces and take the exterior secondary. And instead of creating, uh, we're going to create a new look to it, clicking on new, but instead of creating a duplicate, which would be another new material um, or a brand new material here, I'm going to say replace the current settings with one from the catalog. So what is a catalog? The catalog is a set of surfaces that are defined in the ARCHICAD environment. Some of them are within the standard library. Some of them are online. And you can also download a variety of surfaces. Graphsoft provides uh, some extra ones for subscribers. So if you have ARCA Plus or a similar maintenance program, you may find that you have a whole bunch more uh, that you can load in here. Now I'm going to take this particular one here and you can see it says wooden plank horizontal and say OK. And what it did was it replaced this, the current settings of the exterior secondary with this one. And let's see what that looks like. So it took a moment, but there you can see how the material, this, uh, the appearance, the surface, changed to the catalog version. Now, I like this version here, at least well enough to do for study. Uh, but I would like to try out some different things. So let's see how we can save this setup and then try out different variations. To do that, the simplest thing to do is to go to the Options menu and open up the Attribute Manager, which is found directly under the Options menu, or in some versions you'll have an Element Attributes submenu, and then it'll be down near the bottom. Here's Attribute Manager. What we can do is we can select these surfaces, and you notice that they're sorted alphabetically here. Sometimes you'll see them sorted by number, but you can click on alphabetical. And in this case, because all of the AMT, master template ones, have a, an asterisk here, these are the generic ones that are set up, they float up to the top of the list alphabetically. Now I can go and take all of these first ones here that I've got set, and I can copy them over by name over to the other side. Now what did that do? It actually made a copy in a temporary file. Now this temporary file I can go and save out for reference. And so I can go and save it as an XML file. We'll call it Surface Scheme 1. And I'm going to put this in a, a, a folder. So I'll we'll create a new folder here. Let's say um, Study 1. And Let's get back into study one here and save it. Now I'm doing this in a separate folder because I found that if you have multiple schemes in the same folder that it can get a little bit confused. So I've just put it in a separate folder. Now let's say that I wanted to change the um, settings. So I'll just say OK. I haven't made any changes here. I've just saved it. So let's say that uh, I want to go to the surfaces and change the exterior color and we'll make this white again, or something rather bright, like that, um, here. And that will update then on uh, here. And let's say that we wanted to make the interior ones. You see the, the yellow one. Let's go to the interior default. And uh, let's, let's just put that into white as well. OK. Um, so now you can see inside it's changed to white. So now we've got a much more monochrome building with just a little bit of blue accent in there, etc. So go to the Attribute Manager and we'll select these guys here. We'll send them over here and we'll save them in a different folder. So I'll go up, up one level and create a new folder. And in that one we'll say Surface Scheme Two. All right. Now, here's what we've got on screen, the sort of more monochrome thing. Let's imagine that I'm sitting with a client and saying, well, I have this really wild idea to add some extra color. You want to look at it? Sure. Show it to me. All right. So now what we do 
is we come back into Attribute Manager, I have nothing open here, so that we want to import something. So we'll go back to Study 1 and we'll get Surface Scheme 1. That appears here. You can see that wild color. Now I can select all of these and bring them in or just individually think, uh, pick any of them and do by name. Now there are other ways that you can do this with index but in this case the simplest is by name. So I do that and say OK and apply the changes and within a few seconds we now have the other scheme and we can go back and forth in the same way. So let me give you one more trick here that you may find useful. This surface here is was picked up from the catalog and that's fine that's a great way to do it but sometimes you want to actually bring in a surface from uh, th that you've picked out let's just go look at the surfaces here and let's find one say that's a siding um, vertical um, here white okay so this is a vertical siding it's rotated this way all right let's just say that that one is something that we want to put it, try out in its place here. Now there's no easy way to copy those settings and put them into the um, interior, uh, the exterior secondary position. Uh, we'd have to go and match all of these settings, match this, change the sizing, all of that just to get it to match. So the simplest way I've discovered is to go to Attribute Manager and let's take that siding one here. So this is siding vertical white and I'll just send it over by name here. Now I'm going to change the name so that it can overwrite this one here. So the name that I've got here, this is def uh, exterior secondary. I'm going to copy that here, go here and temporarily change this here. So this is in the temporary file and now I'm going to go and overwrite by name and you can see how instantly the exterior secondary now has a different appearance. When I say OK, it'll say you want to apply it and we'll see there it is. OK, so that's a quick way that you can use the Attribute Manager to either save schemes and restore them and swap back and forth or you can take one type of surface from one position in your current environment and then overwrite it on top of an existing surface by taking it out temporarily, changing the name, and then writing it back in to overwrite the one that you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this ArchiCAD video tutorial on lighting tricks and surface studies. If you'd like some of the resource files that I have set up for these tutorials, you can opt in to my email list and you'll get a copy of, say, the graphic overrides and some of the other tools that I've been working with. If you're already on my email list, you'll be getting emails from me with downloads. That's uh, one of the things that I'm sharing uh, at this time with during this video series. Now, it is my pleasure to share this with you and all other ARCAD users to help you get the most out of ARCHICAD. If you'd like to uh, help me do that to reach more ARCAD users, then please like the video on YouTube, share it uh, uh, through social media, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to really turbocharge your ARCHICAD workflow, consider investing in Master Template, where this sample project that I've been showing you in this series, as well as a lot of other resources, are packed in to a file structure that embeds best practices methods. You'll find complete information and the opportunity to purchase Master Template at actemplate.com. This has been Eric Fabro. Thanks for watching.